Good afternoon, D. Colin here with TechOut, and I just finished my stream up of installing iOS 17.2 Beta 3, um, and we got one new feature that I want to talk about. Um, not really a new feature per se, but we have a wallpaper that has made a return, and that is dynamic wallpapers are back. Um, so if we pop over in here to settings, uh, we'll just go to add new wallpaper, and I'll show you guys. Go down here to collections, and over here on the end, we have our dynamic wallpapers, and they do have a light and dark mode. So we've got a bunch of different colors there. Just scroll through those, and then I'll put it down here in dark mode, and I'll scroll back through them so you guys can see. it got a couple different silvers, blues. Um, I like the dark mode ones better because uh, the actual little dynamic bubbles here are more colorful. Like, that is multicolored right there, but if we put it into... Um, we put it into light mode, or yeah, light mode. You can't really, it's not really multicolored anymore. It's just blue, um, basically. But I uh, really like the different uh, different little you know colors we have there. It's only dynamic on the lock screen. Um, when the uh, screen is awake, you can see them moving around there. Uh, but once the screen goes to always on display, they do lock into position. They do hold their last position, so that looks kind of nice because it doesn't do any kind of crazy moving around. Um, and then same for when you unlock the phone. Uh, they do kind of slowly fade in and lock into the, the last position that they were in on the lock screen. So that's pretty nice. Uh, the only issue I still have, um, the contacts widget up there, you can see that the bubbles are bunched together. They're touching each other. I don't know why. Um, that was like that on beta 2. Um, so kind of weird. Um, they just don't look very good like that. So hopefully they fix that soon. But everything else has been working pretty well. I'm not really having any issues or anything like that. It was about 650 megabytes on my iPhone 15 Pro Max um, here from Beta 2. So, uh, so far so good on Beta 3. Um, if I do find any new features or changes, they will be mentioned in my next video with the follow-up. Um, but I was not really able to find anything uh, that stood out other than those new wallpapers. Um, and I haven't seen anything posted online about any new features yet. And we, of course, don't have a change log yet because this just came out. So I'm not really too sure what bugs have been fixed either at this point. I just want to let you guys know uh, what has been changed visually. I am Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.